It's really gratifying to see such a great turnout for our Focus on Homelessness project, which we started back in February of 2017. So we're coming, we're in the home stretch on what was intended to be a year-long project. And we found out about a lot of things that we didn't know about that I think the community probably didn't know about either. And so, you know, we're kind of at this point where we hope that we at the stage for productive responses and conversations going forward to keep the ball moving. So one idea I've been trying to pitch is I think it's time to create, um, proclaim our, uh, a state of emergency in our state. I mean, the, the problem is not going to go away, and if a state of emergency would loosen up some funding or allow some loosening of policies or how we build, where we build, um, for a certain amount of time, just like when a hurricane comes in, all this help comes. I feel like we're in a hurricane. Let's not make segregated housing. Let's make inclusive housing. Let's guarantee that all of our new builds in Eugene include a percentage of inclusive housing at workmen wages, not median income wages. Because at any one point in time, it's known that 40% of the people here in Lane County are two paychecks away from homelessness themselves. One thing that we've been asking is, what is being done to identify and target drug dealers who are preying on homeless people in that area? And there doesn't seem to be much response, except there's just not enough resources. So our work is in no way done, um, but uh, I, I, I hope that if only if only by um, teaching ourselves how much we have to learn, um, we, we've moved the ball forward a little bit. Thanks to everybody for coming.